And in the three, two, one, go. Okay. Hello. I'm Bryson McBride. And I'm Daniel. And welcome to the Lads Podcast. Danny, What's what do you think will happen in five years? Hmm. Let me think on that. How about better technology? <laughs> I want a new phone. How about that? <laughs> Man, they're gonna come up. Out, they're gonna come out with thirty of those in the next five, one year. I know that, that's just Apple. What do you mean? Exactly. Comes out with a new so phone So just every wait year. like ten minutes. Oh, they've come out with a new one. Yep. What about you? What do you see will happen in five years? In five years, <sighs> climate change probably won't change all too much. There's probably still got to be a lot of people using fossil fuels, but uh, I'm going to assume that the uh, that the renewable energy uh, the renewable energy stuff will hopefully get better and yeah. become more sustainable. We will have to see on that because, as you know, the Earth it, do be getting hot, though. It do be getting hot, though. And we just need to stop using fossil fuels in that case. That's kind of hard. That is kind of hard considering it, that. Yeah, no. It, it's such a simple sentence, but you can't... It's it's really hard to stop because there's a lot of people using well, the yeah, electricity. It, well, it's not just electricity. Cars as well. Yeah. Electric cars. Although, <laughs> I guess the problem with electric cars is that they create batteries. And, yeah, then and they everyone, need power. Then you'll, they need power. But also, those batteries will also have to be thrown out at some point. Yeah, replaced, you mean? Yeah. So that creates even more trash, so... It's double-edged sword with just electric batteries, or electric batteries. Electric yeah. cars. <laughs> they set my eyes. Uh, Technology-wise... I'm going to assume it's going to get better and better as it's done every year in the past. <laughs> let's hope it do- <laughs> let's hope it does. I mean, just literally la- like 2 years ago, we didn't have RTX yeah. anything. And now there's two of them. Now we got the the two good ones, I guess. Or at least the two ones I know. I'm not that big into like computer like uh upgrades. Upgrade. I know that the, uh, the the two new ones are the was it the RTX uh, 2080? Yeah, I, I think. I think and the so, other yeah. one's like the 3060. Yeah, I think. It might be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but computers are getting better and cheaper, and huh, maybe not cheaper, but <laughs> not cheaper. They're getting I better. Would not say cheaper. They're getting a lot better and a lot more. I guess powerful computational wise upgrade exactly upgrade uh, what do you think about space exploration in the next five years uh, considering that you know I don't forget I think it is NASA is planning like is right now like training astronauts for t- for like a quote unquote Mars mission hmm no, so, they aren't they also doing like a moon base? Yeah. So Which seems like a very interesting idea. So we're so we're moving along with that whole space exploration right now. Yeah. The problem is uh, sustainability. Well yeah, duh. That's that so comes with any problem. Yeah, they had, they'd have to be self sufficient and I don't think they're gonna get a lot of meat up there. They're gonna get <laughs> a lot of meat. They're gonna they're gonna get some moon sheep. Moon sheep, some moon, uh, some moon cows. Maybe to some mar- the, uh, to pollute the moon. Maybe some mar, some Martian, uh, steak. Mm. Just kill, kill the aliens. <laughs> Eat the steak. Become the invasive species. The steak. It is now mine. All your steaks <laughs> belong to me. I was, that was a cheesy one. I was. Bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think jokes will get any better? Probably. Well, depends. Jokes might. Memes definitely won't. 
<laughs> it's just gonna continue on a downhill trend. Yep. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> uh, uh, so, what about music? Uh, I don't know like, much about music, but I'm pretty sure it might get better. I, I'm just imagining a future where in like five years it'll be like ten tones total. Then yeah. the next, t or in another ten years it'll be five tones. Next year it'll be 2.5 tones. Next year it'll be one tone. And yeah. it's just uh, four minutes of just beep. <laughs> Hilarious. Man. And you just say hilarious, and you just make everyone laugh. All <laughs> two people of us. God. <laughs> hilarious. And, that, and that's just more me, because I laugh at just about everything, so that's a problem, isn't it? Mm. You need to make your laugh more excitable, just more... <laughs> Something like that. Giggle. That's more like evil villain, actually. <laughs> Raphs. <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, what do you think about medicine in the next five years? How do you think that will improve? Uh, probably a you know a better, better of vaccines for some diseases. Maybe at that point we'll we'll have forgotten that COVID even existed. I think it'll be at least sticking around in the history books for a little bit at least. Well, yeah, obviously. And I hope it will be, because I'm just like, hey, I lived through that. Yeah. My kid, my kid comes up to me just like, hey, Dad, what was it like during the COVID pandemic? Let me, like, tell, let me tell you, child. <laughs> let me tell you how freaking bored I was for a good month or two while I waited for nothing to happen. <laughs> and then I just kind of waited some more, and then I sat at a computer for a couple of years. And now you I'm did. here. <laughs> and then you did eventually, like, kind of force both me and Nathan to to come over, and it was like, I guess, games. That, that That's just kind of how it do be. <laughs> that's how it do be. Y y you sit inside for a good five months, you start to not care really about your physical health. Yeah. And in my case, I started freaking working out like crazy. In my case, I just got lazy. No, that's a lot. I just didn't <laughs> do my schoolwork. Congratulations. And then that didn't happen for another year. Yep. Just kidding. Lies. Deceit. <laughs> Lies You've been deceit. tricked. You've been, you've been, you've been duped. <laughs> Bryson doesn't know the way of the memes. I don't know the way of the memes. I haven't been, I haven't had any contact with social media or any meme sites in over a year now. Oof. Is I a recovering meme addict? <laughs> Recovering me, Maddie. Don't worry, I'll get you back into it once I go to college. <laughs> oh no, not happening. It, it will. Don't worry. Nah. I'll make it happen. You can send me all the memes you want. You're not getting me addicted. I'm, I'll, I'll do it. You'll watch me. It, it's to be on. It, to be honest, it's quite nice not having too much social media interaction. No matter. I have to. I have social media, but I don't even look at it very much. It's just like once, like every like four months. Hmm. I, the like the most I have is Facebook, and like well, Art Station. Yeah. And obviously this, I guess YouTube channel that I post on. Not too. Not really. Not too enthusiastically, but more not too. I do it every once in a while. It's usually an animation. In yeah. this case, I have one animation, and then the podcast. Yep. And that's it. <laughs> uh, we just got... That was a big tangent. Yeah. What about cars? What do you think they'll be like in five years? Probably, I guarantee you that... Or not guarantee you, I can probably say that most of them will just probably be electric. Mm. Or flying. Or at least, or, 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 no, I doubt flying in five years, but... A good chunk might be electric. Mm. They already have a flying car over, I think, in either China or Japan. Yeah, man, I can, I can guarantee you that. Man, 
Yeah, I can guarantee you that manuals, considering they're already a dying, dying breed of cars, I'm pretty sure that manuals are just gonna cease to exist. Which I suppose is a kind of a good thing, I guess. What do you, what do you mean? It makes it it makes it safer. What do you mean? Because as, as there's more technology in the car to keep you safer. I like my manual transmission. And, so. You know your you, you know you like your car, your manual car. You even call it a crap box because well, yeah. if you get in a car crash, there's no crumple zones in that thing whatsoever, and that's from like 1995 or something like that. 1996, yeah. It has like it, compared to modern cars, it's basically just a uh, it's considered just a cage. It's a death trap. <laughs> Yeah, it's a death trap on wheels. That's literally what one article said about uh, older cars. It's basically that, but that's what I'm saying about as t cars upgrade and go into the future, they're going to become more safe and, yeah. you know, not be manual. I like manual, as though, because... That's, that's a third thing that you have to think about as you're driving along and you don't have to focus... Oh, the whole shifting. Basically strictly on the road. Well, here's the thing. Even, like, I, I don't, I can't speak for everyone, but generally when I drive with someone that knows how to drive a manual, they don't even pay attention to, like, the dash or anything. They're always looking on the road. Because most of us, what we do to shift is literally just listen to the sound of the engine. Mm. If the engine sounds I like it's getting forced, then yeah, you just shift. And you don't even have to look at it. <laughs> You're here who... You it has no experience driving a manual. Yeah. <laughs> just judging you. I'm being mm. judged by, Judge. by some. I'm being judged by someone that doesn't know the way. I don't know the way. The way of the manual. <laughs> so, cars are cool. Cars will be interesting and more electric. And from Thanks. what I've seen with Tesla, the steering wheel is going to change a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what do you think about video games? Like, how do you think they will change? Probably new vi new video games and new consoles will c probably come out. Oh yeah, but I mean, like, what type? Like, what style of video game do you think will be popular in five years? Uh, I honestly don't can't really tell you that. I'm guessing probably considering how popular they are right now, probably first person shooters. Hmm. I feel like they'll dwindle out for a little bit, or maybe yeah. it'll do like a cycle where it goes through diff three different populars. Yeah. Like it'll go FPS, and then it'll go indie, and then it'll go kind of mainstream, and then it'll go mainstream, and then yep. da, 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 over and over again. That is the video game cycle right there. Yeah, it's a very boring cycle that doesn't get very... It gets interesting, but not too, too interesting. It's kind of a... It's predictable. Yeah. I think the same thing is with art. The same thing with art. Yeah. I think, like in the terms of board games, I think they're going to become either more high tech with 4D chess. <laughs> they already, they are, they have the four dimensions right there. Or they're gonna. I guess they're gonna become more wacky, kind of like uh, exploding kittens. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because. Uh, Games are starting to get really wacky with uh, Secret Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> that is an actual game. It's a, it's a really fun one. It's basically just it's basically mafia. Epic. I like I like Cards Against Humanity because it, cause it's goddamn like because it's real funny. <laughs> cars Against Humanity. It's just a yeah. bunch of cars driving around. <laughs> no, it's not just that. I can't really say it online <laughs> because I'm gonna get banned. Yeah, it's enough. But, but yeah, it's don't real, worry it's about real, it. It's a real fun game. Mm. Don't, yeah, let's move past that. <laughs> art, what do you think that'll be like? I have no idea. I don't, I don't really do art. <laughs> You're the art one here. Um, I guess there is traditional and then there's digital art. Digital art is going to be probably more popularized. And traditional art, I'm not saying it's going to go away at all. It's more gonna evolve and I guess it might just stay stagnant as it has for the past several hundred years well yeah it's because in a sense di in a sense that digital, it's gonna be traditional yeah digital art is like what easier to like do because you don't have to carry around like 40 different things I don't know it's, it's 
it's more skill based at that point. Or I guess it's more technique. Because <laughs> I think it's all just technique, but uh, in the case of digital art, you still have got to practice and you still got to be familiar with the separate tools because there's different brushes and stuff like that. Or in yeah. this case, there are different mediums being like 3D art. You can do 3D modeling or you can do 2D traditional or you can do animation or pixel art or several other different ones and all of them have their own metas and different ways of doing stuff. Yeah. In layman's terms, it just means things are different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, do you about, what do you think about social media? Probably not much. It's probably not going to change very much, seeing as how for the last, like, ten years we haven't had any new one. It's going to be, like, a huge vacuum chamber where everyone just echoes their own opinion around into the same echo, and uh, it's just going to be one big kind of chamber where you hear an echo. Yep. People are going to get even more, I guess, offended by everything. Yep. It's going to be really freaking crazy for our kids, just seeing how yep. we grow up. Yeah. <laughs> movies, I guess movies-wise, what do you think about them? Mm, I mean, there might be some good ones that come out, considering when... I do remember that there being a good one coming out a couple in like next year, but I forgot which one it is. Mm. Disney so far has yet to surprise me in any sense of good movie. They keep, they keep for doing a good the, while now. They keep doing the same thing of like uh, making making their old movies re like real life, and that's kind of weird. Yeah, they annoying. need to make. They need to find the. Uh, so, there is realistic 3D modeling and then there's cartoony 3D modeling. Yeah. In this case, they're making t cartoons into 3D models, making it look more realistic, but they need to hit that sweet spot of making it look still like the original, but now 3D modeled. Yeah, most of most of the newer movies are just, like, lame. Mm. Like, did you see on YouTube there is a uh, deepfake version? I guess not really deepfake, but it's a... Uh, uh, I guess that's kind of a deepfake. Uh, there's a deepfake version of uh, the Lion King. Where oh they yeah, made the, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, they made the uh, the old Lion King uh, style into the 3D model, and then they posted looks, it over top of the original. That looks so much better than the one than the one that Disney did. Oh, so much better. Like it gives you the nostalgia, but it doesn't go into the uncanny valley. No. It <clears throat> it, it makes it, it makes it look like the original, which is what you know they should be going for. Yeah, it, it's a Disney film. Everyone knows the Disney style. It's kind of cartoony, but it's a lot of squash and stretch. Yeah. But now that now it's just like mm, realism, which is not what people are into when they think of Disney. <laughs> like this is not a uh, it's not a battle for realism. It's a battle of aesthetic. Yeah. Appeal. If it's not appealing, it's not good in the sense of if it doesn't look good, that it isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the case here. It's not appealing. <laughs> uh, so we've talked about art and movies. There's one thing that I really am looking forward to at some point. Yeah. And that's the future of toast. <laughs> I really want to... So, you know the Hitch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie, right? Yeah. In the movie, they had the toasting knife. Basically, you just cut a piece of bread, and as you cut it, it becomes toast. Yeah. I really want that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would pay good money for that. Of course you would, Brayson. Of course I would, yeah, because it's toast. Toast is awesome. <laughs> put some jam, put some butter on it, bam, you got yourself some toast. <laughs> uh, so then, what do you think about population growth? 
Uh, probably gonna be exponential to what it is right now. Uh, my guess is that it's gonna stagnate. I'm guessing there's a uh, there's a test like back in the '60s or '70s or something like that, where they took a whole bunch of mice and they put into basically a utopia for mice. Yeah. They had all the food and water and stuff they wanted, and at some point, the population stagnated as the amount of children the m mouse mothers had were declining and declining and about that to the point where it was going from 10 children per one mouse to about one or two children for per mouse oh and that's i got to say that's awfully sounding a lot like what's happening now oh, with yeah. uh like uh i think it was last year but the birth rate was just barely above the death rate yeah. Which is very concerning. That could be a problem. That could be we a were, problem. We were, yeah, we were barely able to replace the people that died with newborns. Barely. Barely, which, yeah. That's very weird and very interesting and very concerning at the same time because it means that people aren't having as many children as they were like five years ago. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's gonna stagnate, uh, at, least, yeah. at least a little bit. I see. You bring up what do you some. Think? You bring up some real good points. I see. Mm. Do you see, or are I, you looking at a screen? I'm looking at two screens. Oh. Then you lie. You don't see because I am on another screen. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder how houses will look like in ten years. Hmm. Probably, but I don't know. Probably the same as they do right now, seeing as how houses don't really change much. Hmm. They build them and they might renovate them a bit, but they don't really change what they look like. Yeah. There was a house a while ago made by an architect that's labeled the glass house. <laughs> yeah. And it was literally four walls, all of them were glass, and then a roof that was not glass. And I, I, I would feel so uncomfortable in that house. I would too, I don't want to get looked at from like outside. Yeah. You'd feel like, like you're in like, you'd feel like you're in a zoo, cause you're, and you're just one of the like animals in one of the cages. Quick, don't throw a stone or else you might break your entire house. <laughs> Let's hope that there's no big hail then. Oh, oh yeah, hail would be such a big problem if it was big hail, depending on where they live. Yeah. Uh, it was supposed to be like an art statement, but at that point... That's not an art statement at that point. If At that point, it's just getting kind of creepy. I don't want... Yeah. No one wants to live there. Why would you make it? Well, it's not even that it's just creepy. It's also the fact that, that it's also not functional, because the second any bad weather happens, that house is getting broken down. Oh, tornado? Now there's flying glass shards going at 200 miles per hour, and your house yeah. is made out of them. Yep. And there, goes your, there goes your only source of some protection. Yeah. Uh, I think windows in houses are going to get even crazier than they have recently. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like it's going to be more artistic looking houses. I see. That's my guess, though. It's, they might just continue to make the... Uh, the copy-paste house. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you see in a suburban area. Which yeah. makes sense. Because it's... You don't they're need easy, to... They're easier to make. Make a new design every time. Yeah, they're just easier to make, so... Yeah. So maybe that'll be how it goes. No, that's that's okay as well. I sure hope desks get better. <laughs> Same thing with chairs. Because right now I I'm sitting at like the smallest desk possible. Like the oh. thing is less than two of my arm lengths, or both Mine's my you, arms sitting across. Mine's just barely my size. And then it's got this bar 
that's at the perfect height to just hit your knees every time you want to push into it. <laughs> like, it's just a random bar in the middle of the cross beams. And it adds, like, the smallest amount of stability possible, but it adds a little bit. Just enough. <laughs> just enough? It's just enough to be very, very annoying. So... It's... I, I sure hope they get a lot better. Yep. Especially since, like, the the chair that I'm sitting that in right now. You know that? You know this chair I'm talking about? Y yep. So this is, a, like, a $300 chair. And it, in the course of about, like, two months, it starts to peel. And now the armrests are just the peeliest things you've ever seen. They're like bananas. I see. They're, they're withering and dying really freaking quick. I wonder how Nintendo will grow. That, that goes kind of with the video games bit, doesn't they? With, like, the, pen, the games might get better. Let's just hope that mm. the consoles do as well. Yeah. Don't turn out like Bethesda with its Fallout 76 and... Just make it, make the game freaking complete. Don't release it and then just go, Oh crap, we didn't actually finish the game. They want your money, though. Yeah, they want your money, but you made a terrible game that no one wants to buy. Yeah. Which is even worse than if you just waited complete. a few weeks or months until it was actually finished. Yeah. Everyone was willing to wait, but they didn't. But they didn't. They didn't. Oh no. Oh man. I wonder how beds will change. Not much, seeing as how they've stayed consistent through like eons. Eh. They've added some new different types of beds. Yeah. They had like the was it the foam that one really weird foam one where you like lay in and it just molds to your body and just like uh, oh crap I can't move. Memory foam, you mean? Yeah, memory foam. It's I laid in one of those beds while I was looking for a new mattress, oh. and I just couldn't move. And that's a problem for me. I need <laughs> you, to move. You got trapped. Yeah, it, it, it's a slight claustrophobia. Oh. It's weird. Like, ima imagine someone's making a mold of your entire body as you sleep. Yeah. It's basically that. Oh, look, that's what I looked like throughout my sleep. Hmm. Scary. <laughs> hmm. What would you like to see in five years? Mm, not really sure. In five years, I don't know. Maybe like better, better like building designs. Maybe. Mm. Because they are building Buildings new stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> the building designs for a lot of the skyscrapers are really, really scary and intimidating. Yeah. Like there's this one skyscraper that I saw that had all, it basically was just a concrete building all the way up and down with wall, with a window like every 10 feet. Oh. It was, it's basically just a concrete block at that point and people are expected to work in it. Yeah. That's terrifying, I think. Any final thoughts you want to add? Mm. No, not really. Hmm. What do you think will happen in a hundred years? Um, all of the things that we just said for all of them, they might be, they might go up even more. For example, climate change. We'll, we'll definitely be able to see that in a hundred years. Do you think there's going to be any wars? Um, hope not. And like huge, huge world wars. Hope not, considering we almost had one in January of this year. Yeah. And then we had, or I mean, there's like World War One and World War Two, and no one expected those to be <laughs> as big as they were. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. So considering, guess, they, considering they called World War One the the war to end all wars, and yet it did. And also 20, the Great War. Yeah, I guess then twenty years later, somebody else just decided, immediately got surpassed. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna one up that. And like he's like, it's rewind time. <laughs> oh, that's fun. But yeah, I think. I think that's all I want to happen. Well, not all I want to happen. There's plenty more that I want to have. That I want to have happen, but yeah, that's all the stuff that I think might happen yeah. in the next five, ten years. Well, I guess that's the lads signing off. Have a great weekend. See ya.